I looked at him and he would brag all the time how a skilled deaf pastor he was. But he had to learn sign language, he said, so he went to CBC. I go, how do you have a deaf church that big if you don't know sign language? <laughs> you know, but there are people and they brag about these stories. And he would tell people, oh, I will advise you in different things, and I will, I will, uh, I'll advise you, and I'll tell you, oh, you're lousy, you can't do that. And people would come over, he says this about me, and I said, like, don't pay attention to it. <laughs> He's like telling stories all the time. Because after, once, that's Christmas time, he quit and left. I saw again and again, almost every year, there'd be somebody who would come that would say, oh, I go, I'm a big deaf pastor, I'm doing this, 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 this. And people would come over and you think it's true? No. <laughs> but I don't know why, but they would brag about it. They were like the sheep, you know, sheep and wolf's clothing. And they like to boast about themselves. I've seen it in the hearing churches. Oh, I came from this church, big 10,000 people. I helped start that church. And they come over, go oh, wonderful and all that. And then after a while, you see them gossiping and criticizing people. You call the pastor of that church. No, they came here a short time and we kicked them out. And they go, ah. Oh, you know, found out they like telling stories. Growing up in the deaf church, growing up in churches, I have seen many, many storytellers that tell big stories. And they go, you know, you know how they met angels and they come to them and all that. And if it's true, that's wonderful, but their life did not match with what they boasted about. God doesn't want people from boasting and bragging. I've done many things in my life. I go around bragging to people. I did this, 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 this. No. You know, you use it for teaching, helping other people. You know, people ask different things. And, you know, get experience helps you encourage people. You don't use it for bragging. You don't need to, the, you know, flatter people. Oh, he did this, 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 this. You don't do that for that. You, you go to show them the love of Christ. And you try to help people when they need it. That's what it's for. You know, so many people in the world today want to destroy churches. Even when I was a little kid, I heard many people go, oh, I'm going to destroy your church. I'm going to do this, 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 this. And they try. And they left. But I was pastoring in Wisconsin. Quite a few people came over to me and tried to force me to, you know, let them do things in the church that were wrong. And I tell them no. And they say, we're going to boycott you. We're going to tell all the deaf to leave you, get you fired. What do I do? Oh, no, I'm sorry. You can go ahead and do it. No. And I said, well, I'll pray for you. <laughs> After a while, it gets resolved. They end up leaving or changing. Sometimes they came back to me and said they were sorry. They asked God for forgiveness, and they changed. But sometimes, most of the time, they would leave the church. They would complain a little bit. But people had to learn. People bought. It's the same as they said. They can do anything in the church, even though they were guilty of adultery, terrible things. You know, they were all involved with kind of sins, and they had no shame. They didn't want to change. We're going to keep the way we want. 
You know, you have to change the church, not me. And then they try to blame me. Oh, you're too stubborn. This is new times. No. Hey, I love all of you. But we have to be faithful to God. And you have to go on because people will tell you again and again, especially nowadays, they change the rules, they change the body. And they say, you have to accept it. And my trust in you will. That's old fashioned. You don't need to do that. And I said, no. Where did that never change? We have to be faithful to it. God will punish. I'm going to took it. I don't punish people. I'm took my I just follow what the Bible says. And if God and if they refuse to change in the future, God's the one that's going to punish them. His job. I'll show them the word, I'll share with them, but I won't change the Bible. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Jesus, thank you for the power and glory you have. Help, help us have the strength, mercy, love of yours to spread out and that people who uh, are bowed with sin, refuse to change, try to destroy the church, that you would lead them to change and become better and faithful to you, Jesus, your wonderful love. Help us serve you and show an example in all we do. In your wonderful, precious name, amen.